Hey everyone, so I wanted to show you how I'm using my new meal planning and like grocery list template in the new fall planner. And so I'm gonna be taking you through how I check my pantry and then like how I figure out what groceries I'm gonna buy and then how I do that to then like save the most money as possible and be like the most efficient with meals because I work uh, more than 40 hours a week, oftentimes at the hospital um, as a laboratory manager. Plus I have my two kiddos, they're four and 10 months. I'm a wife, my hubby, and I like to spend some time together. We try, right? Um, we have a house to manage, like all the things, like you know how it is. So it's like, let's make meal time and, and meal prep and cooking meals like as easy as possible. So I wanna take you through the steps that I use to do this in a way that like helps us survive throughout the week, saves us money, and makes me feel like it's not this huge, huge task. So here we go. Okay, so whoops, I opened up our pantry now. Bear with me, this is a work in progress. So we'll start with snacks. So I ignore the bottom two, I have to organize baking stuff, but I'm starting with snacks. I've labeled the shelves, they're peeling, so I need a better like system for that or different um, labels, snacks, noodles, rice slash grains, canned goods. And then these are like sauces, toppings, spreads, kind of like a mishmash. So I started trying to organize things with different bins. And I'm kind of trying to figure things out before I actually invest. So these are just like bins I already had laying around the house. So again, not super organized right now, but it's kind of a start. So I'm sort of learning like how much we go through each week. So normally I would stock up on like snacks for Kate. So like she loves these Annie's um, snacks, like the cheddar squares, the cheddar bunnies. She loves like on the go applesauce. I usually get like the fruits and the veggies ones, which is great. I like to take these fruit strips to work. Um, I should actually like see if people at work want these because I had an allergy to, my throat was all itchy after eating these um, Good and Gather cashew butter chocolate chip bars, which is such a bummer. <laughs> um, I have some random like pretzel chips I like to use with hummus. There's still a good amount of mixed nuts in here. We like to make popcorn for family movie night. I think I'm almost out of chocolate. And then I have a bunch of like the like mini bunch of like the mini popcorn bags too. So I don't need to buy any more of those. So like normally I would buy snacks, but I think we're doing good. I might think about buying applesauce because she'll probably go through that this week. But honestly, she'll probably make it through till next Friday. And I like to shop weekly. So I probably won't buy any snacks except for maybe chocolate and maybe granola bar, something different. So I'd come over here to my planner. So I'm gonna mark down that, I'm just gonna go here, start writing, that I have um, snacks. So I just know like I don't need to buy snacks whenever I'm going shopping. I'm gonna fill in here, obviously, chocolate. <laughs> And then if there's room in the budget, I'll do applesauce or veggie sauces in the pouches for Kate. Um, otherwise I should be good to go. I'll add, if there's room in the budget, um, granola bars. And actually let's do those regardless because I'm gonna be running around today, this week to different sites. So I think having some on hand will be, will be really helpful. All right, so now I'm gonna look on my other shelf and see what we have. Okay, so if I pull out the next drawer, this is the noodles, rice, and greens um, one. You guys, I have a classic ramen, a single one here. <laughs> I usually like to have like at least two mac and cheese because that's what my daughter really enjoys on the weekends. These tend to be like a weekend, like Sunday lunch, like something quick after we come back from the cabin. Looks like I have elbow noodles I never made when I had chili last week. And I have spaghetti noodles as well. So spaghetti is usually a really go-to meal for our family um, because it's easy peasy. Um, and it looks like I don't have a spaghetti sauce up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my list.
right, so I put that in my planner. I can probably make something with these elbow noodles if I want to, but I'll think about it. I have tons of basmati rice. I love to make like an Indian chicken meal or do like kebabs over rice, so we'll see. Um, the canned goods is looking kind of skimpy. Usually I like to have different rows in here. I'm going to be buying some dividers as soon as I find ones I like. I hear there's some nice ones on Amazon. Right now I have sliced fruit, sliced peaches. I do like to buy some canned veggies and fruits even though I prefer fresh. Just because with my toddler, she's so picky and sometimes she'll take one bite of an apple and set it down and be like, I don't like that. And then it's really expensive to just have like half eaten produce all over the house. So I like to just have like backups. She also really likes canned green beans or even like frozen green beans. So I like to have those on order. Usually they're right here. So I know because I have a space here, I need to get canned green beans. I'm probably good on fruit. I normally also like to have canned carrots. So it looks like we're out of those. Um, I usually have just like tons of um, beans here because I like to make tacos or like burrito bowls a lot. Usually I have chili supplies right here and it does look like I have tomatoes and um, like the spicy tomatoes with the chilies in it for chili that I like to make. We have a little bit of corn and then a few extra things in the back. So I'm thinking I'm gonna need for sure canned carrots, canned um, green beans to get us back up to snuff and then maybe I'll make chili again just because I do have the ingredients and then the chili is really good to take for work lunches because it's just super easy to reheat. So let's go record that. show you guys so I recently um, organized my spice rack so I will make my own canned chili or my own chili seasoning just like winging it so we'll see how that goes but I really am enjoying how organized it is and yeah I'm missing some cabinets right now so my cabinets are supposed to be like this um, so we're in the middle of still like upgrading our kitchen. Like it takes so long when you have kids and just all the other work thing and life things. So hopefully that is like a fall winter project to get done because we'll be inside a little bit more. So yeah, I'm loving my kitchen. Um, I don't mind the mess, that's real life. But yeah, that's my favorite color. And it's the great. last thing I wanna show you is like our cereal slash oatmeal pancake mix uh, <laughs> shelf. So the nice thing about bins is you can tell when you're almost out of something. So there's two packets of oatmeal in here. There's more in the back, so I know I don't actually have to buy anymore. I just need to fill up the bin. That is the back stock. So funny story, my husband loves like the brown maple and brown sugar um, uh, oatmeal, but they were out and all they had was like the kid dinosaur egg brown sugar. And he's like, yeah, get that for me. <laughs> so I'm like, that's fun. Like, why can't we all have fun breakfast like that? So. That's why he's been eating. But yeah, again, I haven't invested in like special, um, like really pretty containers yet. Cause I just, I'm figuring out like what I need. And, and honestly, these work just fine for now. So yeah, I can tell easily that I'm running low, but then I know I have a back stock. So I'll just fill that up. So no oatmeal needed. All right, so for anything I don't have in my pantry, I then just kind of think about what meals do my family does my family really enjoy and we have like the ones that we are go-to meals and honestly I love to be ambitious and make like new meals and everything all the time and my husband's like why are you doing that that is so stressful it's like so much work and I'm like you're right <laughs> so in the last few months I've just given myself some grace and said we're going really really simple like minimal ingredients like the things we love love and then when we have more time and like when we're in a different season of life we can totally experiment and honestly both my husband and I would like to go fully plant-based someday and we have tried it before um, and it, it just takes a little bit more conscientiousness especially like for meat products and things like that that we want to switch over so it's not hard by any means it's just something 
you have to commit to. And right now it's like that season of our life isn't, um, it's like not the top priority. Being healthy, absolutely, but um, just the grocery list and the expense of it and all that. Um, right now we're just going for simple, 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 simple. <laughs> so what I do is then I just, yeah, like think about what meals my family likes. Um, really simple one sheet pan meals. I love to make kielbasa with like veggies all over the sheet pan and then put that in the oven and just cook it for, I think bake it for like a half an hour at like 400, super easy. I season it with Italian seasoning or even like Lowry's, it's really good. Um, and then a lot of times I'll do like sweet potatoes. I'll um, either make like sweet potato mashed potatoes or just um, cut the sweet potatoes in half and then put them face down the flat side on a pan with lots of olive olive oil, bake those, and then I'll take um, chickpeas, I will bake those as well, and then I'll take out the, I'll like scoop out the insides of the sweet potato and turn that into sort of a mashed potato and then put it sort of back into the potato skin, kind of like twice baked potatoes, and then cover it with the chickpeas and I'll do like crayon, dried cranberries in there and I'll do like onions and celery and everything. It's almost like a Thanksgiving type meal, but it's um, really good. It's, you know, very high in protein and it's more healthy for you, kind of a plant-based recipe, but simple. And my kids, Kate loves that and Theo's getting used to sweet potato too. He loves it too. So yeah, um, th that's how I fill out the rest of that list. So let me show you how the final list turned out and what I'm going to be shopping for. So I hope you enjoyed how that turned out. The last thing I'm gonna do is order all these groceries online so that I don't have to actually go into the store and I only buy what's on my list and that saves me a ton of money, especially because once I go to checkout, I know the exact number, like how much it's going to cost. And that way I know if I have room to add something else or if I need to, you know, go back and reevaluate what I'm buying so that I stay within budget. So that is my tip. I have ordered my groceries online since right before COVID. It was something that I started doing to help me save money and it, it's amazing. I think I paid $99 for the annual subscription for shipped because I order all my groceries from Target. And then um, I have the Target red card, which is just a debit card. So it comes right out of my checking and I get 5% off there as well. So that helps me. Um, it's worth every penny for that annual subscription so that I don't go into the store and buy all the things from Target because I know I would. So I hope that helps you and I hope you enjoy using that new grocery list that has the meal prep part, the planning, for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. Plus it has the grocery list as well as like evaluating what's in your pantry, which I find that's missing from a lot of those types of templates. All right, everybody take care and I'll see you in the next video.